everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. We've got a good one on tap today, and there's going to be two quarterbacks ready to get it done on the gridiron. It's the Browns going up against the Cowboys. We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. Obviously, they do everything big here in Dallas, and the introduction to the Cowboys, no exception. They're set for football in Big D, as their guys will do battle with the Cleveland Browns. There's Mike Nugent now to put this one in the air, and we are underway from AT&T Stadium. That's fielded in the end zone. Oh, a nice spin. And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. First and 10, Kaiser. And his first look is incomplete. David Njoku was the intended receiver. And it's second down. Anytime a ball's thrown in the middle of the field that's popped up in the air, I expect someone to catch. It doesn't matter whether it's offense or defense because there's usually a great amount of bodies in that part of the field. In this case, no one came up with it. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They'll send Gordon in motion left. Ohio, Ohio. The ground is Isaiah Crowell. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. And 4C in completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on some. A little bit of pressure going into the court. The passing. So it's third and nine. And out of the gun. And that is incomplete. As my dad used to tell me all the time, when you're going ready to play a big time, you have one pair strap it up tight because that crowd can really affect things. Especially on third downs like the one we just saw there with the in. Well, they're on the sidelines. Offense going to go for this on the opening go. drive. Going. It's Kaiser. He finds caught down, but not before he was able to break the tackle, and the extra effort moves the sticks. 14 yards, and it's a Cleveland first down. Shot on first down, but the things about playing defensive back is pattern reading, trying to figure out what they're doing. And on that one, they had to fly, just sending the guy downfield with the in route, what people call a dagger route underneath after the clear out, and able to get it done. Yeah, they said forget the underneath route. They went for the guy on the fly, but as you said, incomplete. So five yards there is one of the big guys up front moved. And in a 4-3 front, you've got the two defensive tackles right near the football. I know there's a lot of movement around there, but they're always taught to have one eye on the football. Apparently, that didn't happen. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. the penalty it's called out the thing it'll go as a gain of six chains as well that's a good nice crisp run for a first down i wonder if the defense might have been a pass instead of the Come on, let's go. One, 
They go play action here on first down. To the right side and complete to Njoku. And he gets it down to the 32. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. And they're definitely showing blitz here. And now whistles and a flag. And I think we got a jump here. And he got a little aggressive too early. And he did, wanting that quick takeoff as the ball was snapped. But I think sometimes those big guys on offense, they're pretty cagey too, right? They make those little sudden moves or those little subtle moves that get you to jump. Now flags will come in. I think a free five yard. Participation game for them but it's also a reaction game, and they reacted poorly on that one. Offense walks to the line for play number seven of the drive. Now a play fake here on first down. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. The Browns passing game finding its stride. They've got another first down. Pretty solid start for the rookie here on this first drive, Charles. Able to have some confidence, step it back into the pocket, move around a little bit, find open receivers, and deliver. That just means his confidence is going to continue to grow because he's getting more and more comfortable with each completed pass. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. And, Brad, they went to a nickel defense, and that's a surprise this close to the goal line because ordinarily you use the back end of the end zone, the sidelines as extra defenders, and you want bigger people on the field to try and hit the run. Second down, Kaiser. And that's going to be caught for a Browns touchdown. The disturbance went in the end first possession. And that just happened. Said opening possession, soon for everything. Now I'm going to look forward a little bit now because everyone should be celebrating his catch in the end zone. The tight end gets a little bit of love. But if you're a receiver on the team, you should be thinking to yourself, boy, oh boy, things are going to open up the rest of the game if they have to focus on him as well. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. In motion here as well. Now the down. It's a seven yard carry to set them up with a second and three. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell he's got a little burst in a big pickup right there on first down. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two. They're looking at a second yardage to start things out. Williams, the man in motion, left. Over short of the 45 at the 44. Barnes and it moves the sticks. Doesn't he? Because when I also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually, I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. Prescott looks to throw on first. Now he's forced out left and avoids the contact by sliding. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. 
Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. And they'll send Williams in motion right. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. That good for 19 at a first down. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. And they'll send the tight end in motion left. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. This drive is pretty clear. Almost feels like old school fundamentals, doesn't it? Want to impose their will on the defense. What's that, five straight runs? Yeah, five straight carries to start this drive. And like you said, the way it's working, they may just stick with it. They'll try to throw now. Prescott. Flush to his right. Drops it underneath to Elliott. Call it a one-yard gain of the play. And that'll lead here to a third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play. But if you're on offense, be aware. A ball may come your way. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We're back to Arlington right after this timeout. And defensively going with a dime set. Six DBs on third and four. And he goes in motion here in the backfield. Prescott from the gun on third. And he's going to go down here. A sack. They push him back to the 34. Prescott urging his guys to go quickly. They need to get up and set. How about that? One of the so-called little guys putting the pressure on. That was a strong safety. When I was in college, we often called that a lightning blitz. Prescott to throw on four. up there it's incomplete Jason Garrett might be wanting to reconsider the decision to go for it there and this Browns defense stands tall It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. Kaiser now on second down. Quick hitter here. It's complete. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And all. Touchdown, Cleveland. 
David Njoku, 75 yards. And the Browns are able to strike quickly for six. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call, but he got and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was, a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, in today's NFL, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They want to continue to see if they can capture that again on this drive and maybe get in the same position. Yeah, and that's, I mean, like I said, they were moving the football. It's not like they went four and out, so I don't think it's a deal where the offense doesn't have confidence. No, I agree with you totally on that one. If, that, if anything, they may have gained more confidence. Okay, they stopped us once. That's all right. Let's keep moving it. Make them do it again. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. Here's Prescott, and this one caught by Des Bryant. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and give the quarterback a really nice target. A second down throw for Prescott. He finds his target, Terrence Williams. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll stop it with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. Prescott yet again. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Bryant. And he's going to go out of bounds, taking it down inside the 25. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Set him back five. Slam, slam, slam. And now a timeout called defensively by the Browns. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. Prescott. He's going to go up top for the end zone. 
That'll be incomplete as the clock will stop with 14 seconds remaining. But one thing's for sure, when you get a big receiver and you trust him downfield, you got to give him opportunities to go up and get that 50-50 ball. And he is a darn good big receiver. Unfortunately, that time didn't work out. Nice job defensively. They'll throw again. Prescott. Pressure applied, and he's going to be taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack? It's third and long. They'll bring a receiver in motion left. Third and long for Prescott. Looking downfield for Dez. And Dez has got it. Dez Bryant for the Cowboy touchdown. Dez Bryant in the final seconds of the first half. And the Cowboys have cut it to within a score. And that'll make it 13-7. It's Nugent out to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. And now Cleveland geared up to take the field. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. They begin with a run by Corral. And he's brought down after a good game. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down. Two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. This is fielded at the goal line. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Out come the Cowboys now as they'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Being chased out left. And he slides to avoid the hit. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Now, that was not a bad scramble there on first down. He didn't force it, nor did he throw it away. He was able to take off, and now he made it a very manageable second and short. Williams, the man in motion, left. Again to Elliott. And he's got Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott, 66 yards. And the Cowboys are now just an extra point away from moving out in front. And on that long run, maybe the defense caught napping a little bit. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. 
Now it's Nugent out to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And in hindsight, probably should have stayed where he was as he'll only get back to the 16-yard line. Here's the Browns now. They get set for their first possession of the third quarter. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script to start a half. Let's go! Other teams just go, okay, these are the sequence of plays we want to run. These things worked well for us. And sometimes they throw in that big chunk play right away. Shocker. Try and get after them early and try and create a big play to give themselves some momentum. See what they have up their sleeve. Despite a little power on the move, still tackled shy of the 20. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. I once had a defensive player in the NFL tell me, if I beat and dominate the guy across from me, I'm helping my team. Well, winning one-on-one -on -one battles is always a part of the game, but when you have good team defense, as we just saw there, one broken tackle, but he didn't get away because the rest of the guys arrived to put him on the ground. And he'll take this one up to about the 23. Call it a gain of five that time, and they'll be left with a third and about four. Kid had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Let's see what the defense dials up here. Third and four. Play action. Kaiser completes it to Coleman. That'll move the sticks for the Browns. A gain of 12. Offense comes to the line now. First and 10. Looks like the defense inch here. A first down carry now for Crowell. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. It's a loss of four. Just get some consistency, trying to find places to roam. They just have... Flex round! Flex round! Now a second down throw for Kaiser. And he's going to loot up to nine. Call that a loss of five yards on the play. fake Kaiser throwing the out route incomplete that's Gordon and he's going to be out of bounds up around the 45 yard line a good pick up there of 20 yards so after that big play let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels They go play action. Kaiser. Coleman has it here right side. 11 more on that one and another first down. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? They go back to the ground now with Crowell. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. I tell you, they didn't give it to him much through the first three quarters, but when they have, he's been efficient. Maybe they ride him more here down the stretch. Yeah, I'm not sure it was actually in the game plan for him to have as few carries as he has, but it might play out really well for them now. As you noted, if they want to ride him down the stretch, he should have fresh legs. So here we go, first and ten now. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. 
They keep it with Crowell on first. No dice this go around. He's hit behind the line and taken down. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Well, that run wasn't very successful. They did have a big one on the previous play. So you get the sense that the offense is probing around, trying to find the ones that are going to work. And when they find them, they'll keep coming back to them. Off the play fake, Kaiser. And incomplete there. A nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. The Browns on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is third and 14. From the gun, Kaiser. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Browns touchdown. Isaiah Crowell, 29 yards. And the Browns have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. Here we go. The Browns will go for two. Man, left, man, left. Let's go. Flex round. Flex round. Flex round. Here we go. Flex round. Flex round. Kaiser now. Feeling the pressure. Taken down. A sack back at the seven. Well, they tried to get two. And end up getting none. The back had nowhere to go with the ball and ends up getting sacked. Nowhere to go at all. Great job, though. Defensively, they were ready. <laughs> Gonzalez now to kick this one away. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. And they're hoping to capture some of that magic they had last time out when they were able to put together a scoring drive. But they're still down here, Charles. Not the major concern, though, because of what you talked about. They scored the last time out. They feel good about themselves. They feel like their game plan is now in effect. They know how to attack and what plays they want to put together. But they've got to keep it moving in the right direction because, as you did note, they are down on the scoreboard. Prescott on first down. Eluding the pressure right. His throw incomplete. Des Bryant, the intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. Left on second down. And some changes here as the D-line separates some. Hey, hey, hey. Got three, got three. Three down, three down. Throwing again. Prescott on second and ten. Right side complete to Butler. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. A very solid gain of 27. Great patience in the pocket. Of course, it's easy to be patient when the protection's good, and it was. Yeah, you've got to pat those guys on the helmet and say thanks because they gave him plenty of time to stay back there, survey the field, go through the reads that he wanted to, and deliver the ball accurately. That was really well executed. And they'll send Williams in motion right. A first down carry by Allen. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. Yeah, give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. 
tough running there. That's a hard earned four yards. Yeah, those are the unsung kind of runs. They don't fill up the stat sheet, but they do set you up in good position on second down. In motion goes the tight end. They go to Elliott again. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, so they're left with a third down and six. on the third down conversion. So this offense really needs to make something happen here late in the fourth with the football. Williams, the man in motion left. Here's Elliott. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, his second touchdown of the night. And the Cowboys have taken the lead here in the fourth quarter. The play clock's running down. And the play clock is going to run out here. They're in no hurry to get a playoff. That's going to set them back five yards. So the Cowboys will go for two here. Halfback sent in motion. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. Escaping the pressure right. And a big loss here as he's taken down. I think we can figure out why they went for two there, right? Up one. You want to make it a field goal difference, if at all possible. They didn't get it. Now, they've got to play some defense down the stretch. Yeah, not much margin for error now for your D. They just have to get it into range. This will be taken very short. The Browns offense heading back out to take possession. Time starting to run out here in the fourth. This defense just trying to keep the offense off the board and preserve this potential victory. On first and ten, Kaiser. A screen complete to Crowell. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. Ohio! Ohio! Here we go! 
Play action now. Kaiser. Over the middle to catch by Coleman. A really good pickup of 28 yards. And now a first down following that long gain. He's back to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. Ten more there and another first down. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield. A really nice pickup. On the run, it's Crowell. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. And now a timeout called by the Cowboys defense. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. Second down following the run. They'll run it again with Crowell. And this carry not as productive. He swallowed up at the line of scrimmage. And now the Cowboys are going to call another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. The Browns on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This will be third and five. sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down they could have run it or passed it either one was available they chose to try and get it through the air but they run successful one score down here we go they're going to go for it here on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And that is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And it would appear the Cowboys are going to win this football game. And now here come the Cowboys. They're up by one. They have the football. The key here, just don't do anything silly, right, Charles? That's exactly right. And you know all the admonitions as they ran out there. Take care of the ball. Secure everything. Be tight in everything that you do. No let up. No crazy plays. And they can go home with a victory. <laughs> Let's see here if they can do all those things and hang on to this victory. They'll try and run some clock now with Elliott. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? So they jumped on the left side of that line. And you know when you're at the end spot... You are like in the starting blocks, waiting for the pistol to fire and go, and he jumped a little bit too early. And they'll send Williams in motion right. 
After the penalty, it's Elliott. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. The Cowboys on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This will be third and six. In motion here is Witten. On third down, Elliott. And he's got some space here. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield across the 45. It's a gain of 15, and that ought to just about put an end to this one. Victory all but assured now as they take a knee here, and they're going to escape with a one-point victory. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. Victory all but assured now as they take a knee here, and they're going to escape with a one-point victory. And what is going on here? I've got third down. Screen shows third down, but they've got the punt team out there. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot.